Hello class, obviously I'm still sick. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing better than me. Uh, we are starting section 12.2 today. Uh, this is on analyzing arithmetic sequences in series. We have three terms today, uh, and these are going to be the only three terms that we deal with. If the substitute wouldn't mind pausing it uh, while the students write, th write this down, and then uh, push play one again once uh, they all have it down. Thank you. All right. Our first term is arithmetic sequence, and this is a sequence in which the difference between consecutive terms is constant. I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of an arithmetic sequence. Uh, this would be like 2, 4, 6, and 8. Uh, we're looking for the difference between them being constant. Uh, the difference between them is 2, obviously. The difference between 2 and 4 is 2, 4 and 6 is 2, and so on and so forth. Uh, that 2 value is going to be what we call the common difference. Uh, it's just the difference between each term, uh, each consecutive term. Uh, we're going to use the letter D to represent this. So in this example, D equals 2. If then our last term, an arithmetic sequence, and this is when the expression formed by adding the, t this would be the expression formed by adding the terms of an arithmetic sequence. And so if I were to turn this arithmetic sequence into an arithmetic series, it would just be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. So that comma should not be there. Perfect. One of your homework questions is going to be to write a, ru write a rule for an arithmetic sequence. Um, we actually have a formula for this. It's right here. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. I'll give you guys a quick second to write this down. If you'll notice, uh, we use a sub 1 to represent the first term. And then, like I said in the last slide, we're going to use the letter D to represent the common difference. So our formula is a sub n is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times our common difference. n is going to be whatever term you're talking about. So if you want to the 37th term, you'd plug in 37 for n um, and so on. Let's look at an example of this. So first off, you can see that this is an arithmetic sequence because each time you're adding 4. There's a common difference of 4. Right? We're adding 4 there, we're adding 4 there, we're adding 4 there. 4. Oh boy. Something like that. Um, if you remember our formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Or a minus 1 is in parentheses. All right, we can see our first term is 5, and so we're going to plug that 5 in for a sub 1. And then n minus 1 is going to stay, and our common difference is 4. This is all going to be equal to a sub whatever term we're wanting to find. Uh, so a sub n is equal to 5 plus distributive property for n minus 4. So a sub n is equal to 1 plus 4n. Perfect. Um, we should be able to t check this pretty easily. If you chose any of these numbers, I'm just going to choose 13. Uh, we could check that. Make sure we get 13 out when we plug in. This is our third term. So I'm going to check that in red. a sub 3, our third term, should equal 1 plus 4 times 3, our third the number of the term we're talking about. And so a sub 3 would equal 12 plus 1, 13. Uh, that worked. Uh, we're going to do the same thing to find the 15th term. You're just going to plug in 15. So a sub 15 would equal, uh, here's the, four, the rule, 1 plus 4 times 15. So a sub 15 would equal 61. Alright, why don't you guys go ahead and try the second one. Uh, if the substitute wouldn't mind pausing, that would be great. I'll get you started. Uh, our common difference here is negative 6. Each time, it's, each time it's going down 6. So our d value is going to be negative 6. Uh, go ahead and try that. And uh, before you go ahead and push play again, why don't you check with 
uh, your neighbor and see see how you guys did. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Our d value is negative 6. We have n minus 1, and our a value is going to be 50. Gosh, that's really sloppy. Sorry, guys. Let me go back to black, too. It's easier to read. Um, so we have a sub n is equal to 50 plus, we're going to have to distribute this negative 6. Negative 6n. Now we have plus 6, because negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. So our answer would be a sub n is equal to 56 minus 6n. Once again, I could check that. If I plug in 1, for example, to figure out the first term, I would get a sub 1 is equal to 56 minus 6, which is 50. Uh, to go ahead and figure out the 15th term, that would be a sub 15 is equal to 56 minus 6 times 15. 6 times 15 is 90. And so a sub 15 is equal to 56 minus 90. So a sub 15 is equal to negative 34. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to us. Uh, that's your first time of question on your homework. Uh, let's take a look at what else we could have. In this problem, uh, notice it doesn't give us the first term. It doesn't say a sub 1 is equal to something or say that the first term is something else. Uh, it does tell us that the 19th term, so a sub 19 is equal to 82. It also tells us the common difference is 5. So let's go ahead and make a problem out of, <coughs> sorry, make uh, a rule out of this. Uh, remember our formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Uh, our d value is 5. And the 19th term is 82. And so, sorry, hold on one second. <coughs> so we can go ahead and plug in 19, where all the n's are. Um, and I'll show you what this looks like. We know what our 19th term is. Is it's 82. So a sub 19 is equal to a sub 1, we don't know what that is yet, plus 19 minus 1 times 5, right? See what I did there? I just plugged in 19 where the n's were. n is the number of the term we're talking about, and this is the 19th term. Uh, I know what a sub 19 is. I know a sub 19 is 82. So I could even take this a step further and say 82 is equal to a sub 1 plus. 18 times 5. Does that make sense to us? Uh, hopefully. Uh, we can do 18 times 5 and get 90. And so 82 is equal to a sub 1 plus 90. Subtract 90 on each side. We get negative 8 is equal to a sub 1. So we want to write our solution, uh, which would be a sub n is equal to negative 8 negative, oh boy, negative 8 plus n minus 1, okay, n minus 1 uh, times five. that says 5, uh, so a sub n is equal to negative 8 plus 5 n minus 5, a sub n is equal to negative 13. Negative. Okay. Negative 13 plus 5n. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to us. Uh, the final type of question we're going to have on our homework is finding the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Um, and we have a formula for that as well. A sub n is, or sorry, S sub n. Uh, S sub n is the summation or the sum of the first n terms. Is equal to n times A sub 1 plus A sub n over 2. Um, what A sub n is going to be is going to be our last term. 
and a sub 1 is obviously our first term. And so basically what you're doing is you're taking the average of the first and the last term, right, add them up, divide by 2, and multiplying that by n, however many uh, terms you're talking about. Let's take a look at an example. Uh, remember from last time, this is summation notation. Um, let's go ahead and write the sum of this. Let's start by writing down the formula for sum. Remember, it's s sub n is equal to n times a sub 1 plus a sub n all over 2. Let's take, a look, let's take a look at what we got. Let's see if I can scroll this down. Um, what is our a sub 1, or our first term? Well, you would plug in the bottom. Remember, you start at the bottom, and you iterate up until you've plugged in 20. So we're going to plug in 1 for i, and we would get 8. And then normally you would iterate up and you would add them all up until you had gotten to 20 and you'd plug in 20 and then uh, you'd add every one of those up. Well, this formula uh, cuts that process uh, significantly. Uh, n is how many numbers you're adding up. And all the numbers between 1 and 20 uh, is 20. There's 20 numbers between 1 and 20. Go figure. And then go ahead and plug in 20 in for i, because that's going to be your last term. Remember, this is the thing you stop at. So plug in 20. 20 times 5 is 100, plus 3 is 103. So, okay. Uh, this is going to be the sum of the first 20 terms. So s sub 20 is equal to 20 times 111 over 2. Uh, I don't know why it does that. It's very annoying. Uh, we can simplify this. You guys can just do this in your calculator if you want. S sub 20 is equal to uh, 111 over 10. Or actually, scratch that. I did that wrong. Uh, 20 over 2 would be 10. So it would be 10 times uh, 111. Uh, then you can go ahead and do that uh, multiplication. That would be 1,110. And then that would be our answer. S sub 20 is equal to 1,110. All right, so why don't you guys go through that process here. Uh, once again, if the substitute wouldn't mind pausing it. Uh, and students, go ahead and work on this. And then uh, if you need to work with somebody else near you, then uh, or compare your answers when you're done. Thanks. All right, let's give this a go. Uh, right away, you can see we have 12 terms. So S sub 12 is equal to 12 times something over 2. Our first term is when I plug in 1, so I get 9. Our last term, when I plug in 12, uh, 12 times 7 is 84. That says 84. Uh, so S sub 12 is equal to um, 12 times 9 plus 84 is 93 over 2. <coughs> so S sub 12 is equal to, once again, I can cancel these. Uh, 12 divided by 2. It's kind of like doing this and then canceling. Uh, that becomes 6 times 93, and 6 times 93 is 5,500, sorry, 558. So S sub 12 is equal to 558. All right. Uh, your homework for today. 12.2, uh, 3 through 27 every third. And then 40 through 43. Good luck.